Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sunday Storytime. Sorry I didn't do last week. I felt like taking a break. Um, I'm moving on to chapter four now. This is the chapter called So Easy. And this is the beginnings of when I start to talk about the theory of the creative voice itself. So the book is called The Creative Voice. And the creative voice is a concept that applies or means the true expression of a person. So even if you're not a singer or any kind of creative artist, you still have a creative voice. And so as I read this next section, what I'd like you to do is think about your creative voice and what that is. You definitely have one. It's kind of like what you find yourself doing when you're not thinking about anything. Okay, here's mine. My true voice has, been, has always been what people generally consider to be highly creative. I was always either singing, acting, reciting poetry or writing stories growing up. When I was nine, I acted in a film called Miss Beatty's Children. It won two national awards in India. When I was 10, I did some TV work on a local Canadian TV station called TV Ontario. From 11, I was having lessons in singing, piano and lambda and performed as a soloist as well as in churches, musicals, magical groups, other groups and choirs. I also wrote obsessively in my spare time for absolutely no reason whatsoever. It just happened. This is my nature, my true voice. It never occurred to me that I was creative so much a part of it so much was it a part of my natural behavior. But when I was 16, all of this vanished. The activities that had until then come entirely naturally stopped at the breath. It would take 10 years before I would ever sing again, and still today I need vocal instruction to restore my voice to its former self. That is not to say that singers don't need training, they do throughout their careers, but I need vocal instruction to guide me back to being able to sing at all, so much did I detach from my natural instrument. Slightly different. I am not alone in this story. I may be a singer that stops singing, but I'm not alone in feeling that I lost my voice. Many people feel they lose their true voice, that a critical teacher or sibling or parent made them shy away from expressing themselves as themselves. Do you relate to this story? Do you feel that at some point you lost your true voice? The good news is that you only feel this way because your true voice is still with you. For if it wasn't, you wouldn't feel it as a loss. We all have a true voice within us, one that wants to express in its own way, a free and spirited voice that is impulsive and wild, even if social life trains us into obscuring its expression. I'll read you one more line. But it is not limited to the audible voice any more than voices are limited to sonic life. We ascribe to it the word voice for conceptual convenience, but it could be any pastime, any form of personal expression. I'm really excited to hear what you think your creative voice is. If you want to, you can put it in the, the chat, but think about it. What do you do when you're not watching yourself? When you're just being, what are you doing? See you next time.